So if you own a metal cutting bandsaw, you're gonna go through a lot of blades. Now this is the G0806 variable speed metal cutting bandsaw and it features an onboard blade welding station. Now this is a unique feature that you can have here where you can actually make blades to a specific length or if you happen to have a workpiece with a hole that you're gonna actually cut inside of, you can actually weld them into place and then put them on the rollers. So we're gonna go ahead and trim the blade, but before we do, we want safety glasses and gloves. You want to align the back side of your blade along the small fence on the cutter. Trim off the heated area on your weld seam on each side so that they're square. Try to ensure the gullet is similar to the others throughout the blade so that two teeth aren't aligning right next to each other. The next step is to actually go up to our blade welders. First, we're gonna turn on our welder lamp, and then we're gonna make sure that there's no pressure applied at all to our clamp. So I'm turning that dial down, and I'm setting my side of the blade right into there and then clamping it like that. So then I'll take my other end of the blade right here and feather that into the remaining clamp like that. So now you want them as close as possible. You can test fit here and see how square they are. Now, but you can see I have a nice square edge there. It's pretty darn close. So now that we have everything aligning in the clamps, it's time to go back to our pressure dial. And for the largest blade, you might want to go considerably further on the dial, but I'm only going to go a maybe about a third of the way. That pressure is how much they're actually pushing together uh, the blade ends. So when I hit the weld button, which is this green button right here, you're going to see it get very hot right through it and apply pressure toward each other. So I'm going to close this up just for safety and we're going to hit the weld button. There we go. So now our blade is completely welded and that pressure has really pushed it together. So we're going to pull this back and unclamp. So we've got it unclamped, pull the blade out and you can really see the ridge that it created from pushing those two pieces together. Now that is where we then walk down to our grinder down below. go ahead and click this on and we're going to start with the bottom very very light pressure and remember you don't want to bend the blade at this point it's very hard material the weld is incredibly solid but you don't want to bend it because it's actually very brittle Now we're going to rotate the guard. Now you can see underneath here, I'm grinding the top edge of the weld. Now I'm going to rotate it back and really just kind of look at how our alignment was and touch the back edge too. Just to ensure it's perfectly square. There's one more important step to the process to ensure that that brittleness that is strong is actually just strong and also malleable. So without bending the blade, we're gonna go back into the clamp. And we're gonna reduce the pressure again. So the pressure dial. We're gonna place that weld right back dead center. And then we're gonna go ahead and clamp it so the annealing process, you want to do it three to four times, maybe five times if you're on a large blade, but you're going for a cherry red, so not orange. Orange is where you're going to have too much heat and you become a weld that can snap. Uh, what you're going to do is actually shoot for basically the red that you see here that will appear on that weld itself. So we're going to go ahead and push this, blue and red. Blue, red. Blue, red. It gets very hot. Now I'm going three times 
just from experience on this blade. Unclamping it, walk that guy back out. Now we have a blade that we can put right around our bandsaw uh, wheel and it'll hold that radius and it'll hold really tight and ready to go. And that's how you weld and anneal a blade with your G0806 onboard welder.